All right, welcome back everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Today is Friday, it's June 18th here, and I've got another green day. So I am happy about this week. It's been pretty good to me. Um, even though we've had, uh, or I've had uh, uh, some medical stuff recently that's been uh, going crazy in regards to the illness. Um, anyways, <clears throat> I'm getting over that, <clears throat> feeling much better now. So that is a positive. And today, yeah, we've got a good recap, a green one. This week has been uh, pretty excellent for me, and I'm happy with it. So let's dive right into it and show you how the Friday went here. Let's pull up, first thing, let's pull up performance. And I'll tell you what stocks I've traded today. Uh, Wafu, ALF, uh, what else? Torch, and that was about it. I did get one trade on G-E-R-N. It was uh, just a small quick one though. So here's today's performance. Um, I love these type of days and not necessarily just green days, but the ones where for one, um, I never go red on the day. That's always good. But where I finish on my highs of the day, there's nothing better better than that that feeling of ending the day like your last trade and you were pretty much at your highest um highest p and l for the day it's uh, a really great feeling i did that not yesterday the day before um so that was good and today i did it again so i i just love that feeling of not necessarily always being green but um finishing up on your highs for the day because it's a real struggle sometimes mentally when you go up to whatever it is you hit a nice peak and then you go down from there and you either end up losing money or you just took a lot of money off the table that you could have um, could have stuck with so um something to strive for for sure and definitely happy with it so anyways let's look at it first off we'll take a look at wafu um, and I, I do want to make this note for today. Uh, when I, I'm looking at the um, my uh, top gainers list over here, left side of my screen, I'm always looking at that, and that is what I use uh, to find out what stocks I'm going to trade. And today there was just not a lot that was moving up. However, there was opportunity if you were um, ready for it and ready to rock and roll there was there was opportunity so wafu is a good example of that uh let me pull up the yearly chart wafu is one that i've definitely traded in the past if you look at this yearly chart here it has plenty of times where it spikes up but it goes right back down so you've got to be careful on trading this but this is good uh in my eyes in regards to day trading because there are opportunities to get in, get out, take your profit and leave. And as you can see here, this thing, it's notorious for just popping up certain days and going right back down to where it traded at. And I like to call the, that's kind of like the base. The baseline is where it typically trades, trades at every single day for the most part. And then there are times you know, looking at the stock, you, you give it a week, you give it two weeks, and boom, you get a, a nice spike. And this was an awesome one back in what, March of 26, um, or, or March 26. It had a nice run up. So anyways, I know this stock, you know, it definitely has day potential. So today, I hopped in on this one, and I played it pretty well. I let's I want to see what my first trade was on this. Uh first trade I got filled on 889 and that was at let's see 1012. So actually I waited way later into the game actually to hop into this thing. But I timed it right. I I waited for this thing, you know, once again no volume all day before and then finally hits this uh this streak where a bunch of volume us comes in and the thing skyrockets and i haven't even gotten in trade on it yet but i'm waiting for it to kind of like prove itself and as i watched it unfold i saw it hit its peak 
And then it started pulling back here and I decided, you know what, if I can get it while it's down on a pullback here, I think it's got a good chance for it to curl and at least retest the highs and maybe break past that. So let me do that. And yeah, so I hopped in, what was it, 889? So not perfectly low, but a pretty good, actually, that was a pretty, pretty good price. Yeah. 889 ended up selling at 937 right in here in this area so a really good trade to uh, start the day and that's the kind of stuff I like that setup where it's you know um, it just starts ripping out of nowhere and the chance that you can find that that pullback wait for it just be patient and allow it to come back to find out where it wants to kind of consolidate at and you're waiting for that next rip up. So um, timing is really important this one. And uh, <clears throat> I was able to trade it fairly well today. So I uh, enjoyed Wafu, that was Wafu. Uh, made a quick trade on Torch. But the other one that I'll cover was ALF. This was a majority of my trades today. And this thing had a pretty good run today. So initially, you see, oh, well, let's pull up the yearly chart once again. Yeah, so I was interested in this, of course, because we had a previous, um, earlier this week, a really strong run um, in two days. Two days, uh, the uh, 15th and the 16th, this thing had a nice um, move up. So I knew this was in play definitely for today if it kept moving the way it did. So initially market open, it ripped up, uh, all great stuff here. And uh, throughout the day, I just kind of waited and I really didn't trade it at all. I was eyeing it. And as soon as it made this move right here um, past VWAP, you know, game on from there because then it's going to be, okay, is it going to retest this area? And it sure did. Uh, 726 broke past that and then uh, had a, a pull back here and then another huge rip up so it is it's absolutely game on I had a ton of trades on this one today now where it got really tricky for me is when we get into these higher zones so now at this point on this stock right as we get up into this area let's look at the first initial um um, high of the day here at uh, I'll call it 836 on this candle. This thing is just moving, moving, moving. And I've got to tell myself at some point, okay, it's going to pull back at some point. It's just a matter of when. And you don't want to miss that move up. It's a very difficult piece. But once we get into this area here, this is where it was just really difficult for me. And I was kind of all over the place. I'd be getting in, getting out, um, doing that so many different times. And I was struggling. I there would be a piece where I'd, I'd get a little bit of a little chunk of money here, and then start losing some on on the trades. And I'm just trying to mitigate my risk. I'm trying to um, get in on these on these moves up, but also realizing that hey, we've hit a peak for the day, and it looks like in this area as it trades, you know, you're thinking, okay, pull back here. It's okay. So be patient because it could continue on down. But if it curls, you want to be in there for that. So you're seeing that and um, you hop in there for a move. But then, you know, it's now it's retesting these highs. It broke past it, but now it's pulling back. So there was just a lot, a lot of back and forth for me because I want to be there for that next break of these highs. If, if it decides it wants to rip on past it i want to be there at the same time i want to mitigate my risk because we're already up huge on the day and i don't want to be caught to the downside of this um downside of the move because i've been in there before where there's drastic falls and just having to cut a loss that's really big is is a tough one to do this one just it kind of ate me up but i i did all right i uh i stayed kind of neutral i I'd put on some money and then lose it and stay about neutral in this zone but it was just a very very tricky zone for me because you you know you want to be there for that next huge uh run up if that happens but at the same time you want to mitigate that risk of 
of these nasty uh, red candles, you know, come and come out. This is, you know, this candle right here was definitely a tricky one. It, it's showing you, you know, as it move on to the next candle, it looks like it wants to, it, you know, completely completely breaks 850. And it looks like it's going to run and it was an absolute reversal. Poof, and then it comes crashing down really hard. So, uh, tricky, tricky, tricky stuff. And you just got to time it right and try to mitigate your, your risk. And as you can see, you know, when we had that downside, a lot of people got scared out, started selling out. It came down a bit, but Hey, it bounced, um, came up a little bit more. Didn't get quite as high, came back down again, then back up. And now we're back in that zone of retesting and, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, hey, if, if we break this area, 850s, we might, you know, shoot right, shoot up uh, pretty, pretty hardcore. But a lot of volatility right here, tricky zone. And uh, that's where I had to kind of leave it for me for the day. And fortunately enough, I was able to, you know, um, end it on a high note for me. So... I want to hear from you guys. I want to find out if you guys traded this one today, ALF, if you made some good money on it. And I want to hear about your trading day as well. How was your Friday? Was it um, was it a green one or was it red? Uh, how did you do this week? Very curious to find out from you guys. Um, but these were the stocks that I um, were in play for me today. And they worked out pretty well. I'll show you the calendar before we head out here. Oh, uh, I always like to do, do a... Quick recap, AMC every day because I'm still in this position. Today was just, uh, oh man, it's, this is just kind of an agonizing um, point in this AMC move. Uh, if we zoom out here, now, granted, AMC has held up really well. It's held up super well. We had an explosion right here. And for the last couple of days, we are... Yeah, for quite a while now, last two weeks, we've been in this just this agonizing range. And I'm waiting for it to break out, um, to get above these areas, the 68 and the 72. And today was just a struggle because it was like uh, we broke past yesterday's high of 64. And then the next high that we need to break past is uh, 65. And we tapped 65 today. And we just couldn't get past it. And it's just one of those things that's like, come on, let's move. And so, you know, with this, it's a swing trade. And um, you just got to be patient. Uh, I think there, there will be the day it's going to rip past every all this. And, you know, go to the moon. But we don't know when that day will come. We might have another, you know, week of... Staying in this range. I don't think so. I think, you know, it looks like we got this kind of ascending triangle right here, kind of a flat top right in this zone. Uh, and we are making higher highs. So it looks like, you know, technically on the, on the chart, it looks like it has an opportunity in the future here to really break out. But uh, who really knows? I think there's a lot of manipulation. We might have another, um, you know, big red day at some point trying to people trying to pull it back down to you know 50s 40s who knows but i think if it rips and it gets past some levels it's i think it's it's uh, bound to really shoot up quite a bit so still holding this one and it's just for me it's just like oh it's like watching paint dry it's so um i'm excited about it but uh i'm just like antsy about it already but you gotta you know in the market you gotta have some patience if you're really going for your plan and, and your, your goals here. So that's it for AMC. Let's show you the calendar before I head out here. Uh, calendar. Here we go. This week was pretty good. Now it could have been, you know, a lot better, but I'm, you know, I'm going to pat myself on the back for the fact that I'm green. I had one red day and I'm not even going to call that a red day. That's break even down one buck. So that's nothing. That's zero. Um, and the rest of the days were pretty decent. 400, 1300, 100, 685 today. Happy with that progress. I want to try to bump it up a little bit, but, uh, 
you know, you just gotta, gotta stick to the course and, um, do your best and try to mitigate those, uh, those red days. I know I've got a big red day somewhere in the future and I'm just always thinking about, okay, keep building my cushion, building my cushion. The big green days are going to help me really mitigate that red day that comes. So doing all right. Um, 11, 11, uh, green days, three red. I like my ratios. My ratios are typically pretty good. The only problem with me is that on my red days, they're typically pretty brutal. So even, even look at this, like last month, uh, 13 green days, six red. That should be a positive month. However, it's negative. Um, down a thousand bucks last, last month. And that's because my, once again, the, the red days were pretty drastic. My green ones were just not big enough. So working on building that cushion, getting to a better spot. And that pretty much wraps up today. So I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I hope you had an excellent Friday. Hope you were green. And uh, make sure to subscribe and like this um, video. It helps me out. Helps you guys out for people who really want to see uh, these types of um, day trade recaps. So uh, that would be much appreciated. But anyways, you guys have a great weekend. Take care. And we'll see you on Monday.